A few hours ago, Microsoft held their hardware event where they went pretty much all out with the hardware announcements. There is a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. Firstly, this December you'll be able to play your Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. You'll also be able to buy new limited edition console designs and buy the Elite controller, which will also work on Windows 10 PCs by the way. Next came HoloLens, they showed off mixed reality gaming through the game Project X-Ray. This lets you shoot stuff with your hand, have monsters coming out of the wall and stuff like that, it looks really great. They announced that developers can start making apps for the HoloLens today and that the developer kit will be available on quarter 1 of 2016 for $3000. After finishing off with the HoloLens, Microsoft moved on to the Microsoft Band. The Band 2 now has a curved Gorilla Glass 3 screen has a barometer to detect elevation and also has a shot detection for golf. It is available to pre-order today for $249 or £200 and will be available on October the 30th. Moving on to Microsoft's new Lumia phones, the Lumia 950 was announced with improved wireless bands to keep the phone connected no matter how you hold your phone. A 5.2 inch OLED display at 564 ppi and it will cost $549. A bigger Lumia 950 XL was also announced with a 5.7 inch 518 ppi OLED display and will cost $649. Finally the Lumia 550 was announced for the super cheap price of $139. The two 950s will go on sale next month while the 550 will go on sale in December and as always all the specs can be found in the description down below. Microsoft then went on to talk about Continuum. They announced a new display dock which connects your phone and other peripherals to a monitor. And when connected to the monitor you are basically seeing Windows 10 as you would see it on a PC. Universal apps also scale to whatever screen size has been used and it really looks like you're using a PC. You can also use your phone and monitor independently and simultaneously and they will both have Windows properly scaled to fit them. Keyboard shortcuts are also supported. Moving on to tablets, the Surface Pro was shown off with a fingerprint sensor on the type cover, 12.3 inch display at 267 ppi. The display is larger but the profile isn't because the bezels are smaller. It also comes with a pen unlike someone <coughs> Apple, <coughs> which lasts all year. Again you know where to look for the specs. It is available to pre-order tomorrow and will be available on October 26th for $899. Announced with the Surface was a Surface Pro docking station with 4 USB 3s, 2 4K display ports and Ethernet. The type cover is also thinner and lighter now and has a backlight. More space between the keys and a 40% larger multi-touch trackpad. Now onto the Surface Pen, it has an eraser on the back which some other company doesn't have. Isn't that funny we finally put an eraser on it? It's kind of funny, there's a pencil out there without an eraser, it's weird, it's like backwards. It also has 1024 pressure points does actions based on clicks of the top of the pen and attaches to the side of the surface which it comes included with. It also comes in 5 colours and has interchangeable tips. Now for the surprise of the night, the Surface Book was announced with a hinged design, 13.5 inch display at 267 ppi, touch, a 12 hour battery life, a GPU and other specs in the description. You can also detach the screen and the keyboard. It is available for $1499. You can pre-order it to Marvel and it will be available on October 26th and will come with the Surface Pen 2. To finish off the event, Satya Nadella, who is the CEO of Microsoft, went on stage to talk about Microsoft's view on computing and their mission statement. So that's finally all of it. It was a pretty jam-packed event. Be sure to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Would they stop clapping? It is really getting annoying now. I love spending time in the mountains. So Come on, she hasn't even said what they're supposed to be clapping for. 